Good Tuesday morning, everybody, and Merry Christmas, everybody. Chris Allen here with your weather podcast for this December 24th. And uh, we are ready for Christmas. I hope you are. I'm ready. I'm ready. Ready, 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 ready. And, you know, uh, I've I've learned over the years that it's, uh, you know, when you give, it's, to me, I have more anticipation now giving something to someone than I do actually getting. I'm I'm or receiving gifts. I, I I'm pretty awkward when it comes to, you know, somebody gives me something. I'm like, oh well, um, uh, thank you. And it, it seems uh, you know disingenuous, but really, I'm just so overwhelmed and and I'm like, oh wow, you thought of me and I appreciate that, and you put a lot of thought in into what you gave me and I'm just humbled you know and I really don't know what to say my mind gets all scrambled and I'm like thank you (laughs) and I know to the other person they're like well that didn't go over well but it's just my personality I really 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 dig when I can I can you know learn a person's personality and I know them well enough to where I know exactly what to get them and then, then I can't wait to see them open the gift. That's that's to me is the best part. So uh, hopefully, uh, you know, this year you'll think about it's more about the giving than the receiving and and all that. And you spend time with your family and friends. That's what it's all about. And uh, hopefully, that you'll make it to your destination safely, as uh, there will be a ton of folks on the uh, highways and byways and the airways as well. And it looks like, uh, from a weather standpoint, we're not going to see that much in the way of anything getting in your way or even getting into Santa's way, as uh, he is already, uh, you know, starting his uh, journey from the North Pole. We'll be tracking him, as we always do, NORADSANTA.org. You can go there on your device, your phone, your tablet, whatever, let the kids get on your iPad or Kindle Fire or Galaxy Tab and Go to NORAD, that's N-O-R-A-D, NORADSANTA.org, and you can electronically track him uh, with the super-duper radars that are all over the world and and see where Santa is. That's kind of fun to watch now that you've got uh, the technology. We didn't have that years ago, but now you've got the technology to track Santa. Or Santa Tracker is another, it's, it's all tied in together. It's just another way to get to it. But as far as the weather is concerned, the only real problems that we're seeing is up in the Great Lakes where they're going to get some snow and uh, and then those places that have just been hammered by the ice storm like Oklahoma City through parts of uh, uh, Kansas and then the big uh, snowstorm that went through uh, Nebraska and into Iowa up through Illinois, Minnesota. Uh, those places uh, already been hammered by last week's storm, and now it looks like they're going to get a little bit more, at least in the northern part, mid upper Midwest and the Great Lakes. For us, uh, we're actually seeing a few snow flurries on radar this morning here uh, around the, uh, the region. Believe it or not, yeah, they're reporting some light snow flurries up around the metro Louisville area and also back toward Paducah. And uh, it's just a little weak upper-level energy that's passing through. But some of you, like up in Litchfield, maybe E-Town, may see a passing snow flurry or two this morning. Not a big deal. It's not going to cause any travel issues. Same goes for far western Kentucky, maybe over toward the land between the lakes. You'll see some flurries flying around this morning, maybe Hopkinsville. So um, pretty cool for Christmas Eve. Now, we, we said there would not be a white Christmas this year in southern Kentucky, northern middle Tennessee. And that's going to be true because technically a white Christmas, you have to have at least one inch of snow on the ground on December 25th. Now, that's not going to happen. But we did not say that there wouldn't be snow flurries. At least that's something. At least you maybe could see a snow flurry not only today, but maybe tomorrow morning. As you're getting up to open presents, how about that? It's a possibility, especially if you live north of Bowling Green. It's, uh, you know, it's doable. Uh, More so around the Ohio River. So we'll see. All right, looking at the numbers from yesterday, a high of 39. 
For Bowling Green, 46 is the average for the day, so we were 7 degrees below average, uh, below average, I should say. 28 was our low, and 28 is our average low, so we were right on there. One year ago, we had a high of 55 and a low of 28 back in 2012, and just a trace of light rain yesterday, so it doesn't change the numbers. The forecast for today with that little piece of upper-level energy passing through, partly sunny. A few clouds to start the morning, and as I mentioned, some of you may even see a passing snow flurry. Again, it's not going to be a big deal. It's not going to cause any travel issues. No accumulation, just flurries. When we say flurries, you never need to worry about accumulation or travel issues. 28 will be the high today. Sunshine later. Northeast wind at 8, putting a little extra chill to the air. Tonight, mainly clear, cold. Once again, a low of 16 as Santa makes his rounds in southern Kentucky. But he's got a big coat, that big white beard. He, he'll be okay. He'll stay warm. For Wednesday, Christmas Day 2013, we may wake, as I mentioned, to a few snow flurries especially north of Bowling Green, um, pretty much from Bowling Green or the parkways southward, uh, not so much. I mean, it's a possibility, but the models are trending a little bit more north with that next upper-level disturbance. 39 will be the high. We'll see a mostly sunny Christmas day, a few clouds in the morning like this morning and then clearing. As we get into Thursday, mostly sunny 42, we're noticing a warming trend as we head toward the final weekend of 2013. Mostly sunny 47 on Friday, mostly sunny 50, believe it or not, on Saturday. Sunday, though, another system comes in. It's rather weak as well. There's a possibility we could see some light rain Sunday afternoon and evening with a high of 47. But as we get down below freezing Sunday night, it could mix with or change over to some light snow showers, but we're not expecting any accumulation. And then Monday, it'll be partly sunny with a high of a colder 33 degrees as we get ready to celebrate New Year's Eve the next day. So a warming trend followed by another cool down as we close out the year. Now, no podcast for tomorrow, Christmas Day, or no blog as well, no blog update. Uh, but um, we'll be monitoring the weather. In fact, we won't have a.m. or midday or the 5, the 6, or the 10 o'clock. Actually, the 10 o'clock newscast will be a Christmas special from uh, the news staff. So I'll take this opportunity to wish you and your family a very blessed and very happy Christmas Day. And uh, thank you so much for listening, as you do always, each and every day. And uh, we just want you to be safe, have fun, and enjoy your Christmas. God bless, and thank you so much. Know the weather before it knows you. I'll see you live at 530 on AM Kentucky and streaming live to WBKO.com.